All right, so here I'm going to show you how to use a layer file to uh, to either save or import symbology. Um, note if you have done this before with ArcMap, it's actually pretty much the same. Um, but I thought I'd show you because um, not everybody knows about, about using layer files. OK, so here I have a raster grid in TIFF format where it's representing categories with codes. And we'd like to know what uh, these codes actually mean and uh, you know have a nice symbology. Luckily, the people who generated this layer have provided the symbology as a layer file. So we just simply need to add that. Uh, to the layer. So to do that, you want to right click on the layer and then you go to Symbology. That will open up the Symbology pane. And then over here, th up here, this little hamburger menu, if you click on that, there should be an Import option. And then we can look for that layer file. So this happens to be in this folder, West Virginia Land Use Land Cover 2016. And there we see a dot layer. And then if we do OK, now we can see that it took on names and then, uh, and then assigned callers that were um, desirable for this specific uh, data set. OK, so that's how you can bring in a layer file. So let's say that you created a layer and you spent some time creating some symbology for it and you would like to share that symbology with someone else. Well, then you can actually export your symbology. So we'll just do that with, with this symbology that already exists. So to create a layer file, you just simply click on the layer, go to Sharing, and then we want to do Save as Layer File. Note that there are older versions. This is uh, for a uh, uh, this is for Arc Pro. So we'll do Desktop, and we'll just do Save. Now, if I go back to Import again, and I go to my Desktop, we could find that same layer file and bring it in and use it. Okay, so I highly recommend uh, using these because if you take the time to generate some symbology and you want to either share it with somebody or not have to reset it if you're using the data in a different map, this can really speed up that process.